YouTube, what's going on? We are back today playing some Pokemon Sword and Shield. You guys already know the deal. Hopping back onto the rank double ladder. We got ourselves a banger of a team today. We got ourselves a Glacier Trick Room team. If you guys are excited or hyped for today's video, make sure you support the channel by smashing that like button and clicking that big red subscribe button. Seriously, it goes a long way. It really does. Thank you guys so much for the support. We just passed 6,000 subscribers on the channel. Are you guys kidding me? You guys rock. Thank you so much once again. But rocking out on this team, we got Glacier, which is the heart and soul. This team is phenomenal. This Pokemon Pokemon is absolutely insane. It has Chilling Nay ability, so every time it picks up a KO, it gets that nice little attack boost. It's kind of like Moxie. It's basically like exactly like Moxie. Let me know in the comment section down below if there is something different between Moxie and Chilling Nay, but I believe it is just like Moxie. This thing is also holding that weakness policy with Icicle Crash for Stab, High Horsepower, Close Combat for Coverage, and Protect as that normal move. Then we got Dust Cops over on the right side, who pairs perfectly with Gracie Area over here. We can go in first turn, we can Protect, set up Trick Room, and then Brick Break and proc our own weakness policy and just roll out and dominate the battle from there. Dust Cops over here, normal moves up for him with Nightshade, Brick Break, Will O Wisp, and Trick Room. Right behind your boy's face cam, we got Incineroar with that Intimidate and Figgy Berry, Flare Blitz, Parting Shot, Fake Out, and Burning Jealousy. Nothing new there. To the right, we got the amazing Tapu Finny right here. I've been loving the Tapus ever since the new Series 7 has been released. They've probably been my favorite Pokemon to use. All the Tapus. The only Tapu I haven't used yet is Tapu Bulu. So, if you guys got a Tapu Bulu team, send that to me. Probably in my Instagram DMs. Link is in the description below. But Tapu Finny over here has Misty Surge ability. The Wiki Berry with Muddy Water and Dazzling Gleam for Stab. Calm Mind to boost his defense and protect as its final move. Then we got Ndidi in the bottom left with that Psychic Surge and Psychic Seeds. Give that the D plus one defense with Expanding Force, Follow Me, Heal Pulse, and Helping Hand. Nice little support mod. And then in the final spot, we got the boy, the goat over here, Dragapult with Clear Body and Life Orb. You guys already know how strong this Pokemon can be with Dragon Darts, Phantom Force, Dragon Dance, and Protect. Guys, you want to try out this team for yourself? Rental code is at the bottom of the screen, but let's get after it. Let's hop onto that ranked double ladder and get some wins in that Master Ball tier. Okay, so we're going up against a Regigigas team in battle number one. I believe people told me to prioritize the Weezing right off the bat. Because if you take out the Weezing, then the slow start ability will pop for the Regigigas. And then you can just start rolling and doing work up against that thing. And then take them out and roll from there. I believe so. If I'm wrong, let me know in the comment section down below if I should prioritize the Regigigas. Or should I go and prioritize Weezing first. But this guy also has Zapdos, Landorus, Tapu Fini, and Celesteel. Everybody knows these Pokemon are really, really strong. Um, I could roll Trick Room. I mean, Chilling Nay, I mean, our abilities won't pop, but I really don't need my ability. I'm just going to roll a Trick Room, probably Protect Turn 1, and then maybe Dynamax? I think that's totally fine. I think that's fine to go into. He has Intimidate Mond. Um, hmm. I think we're fine. I think we're fine. I think we go Glacier, Dusclops, and we roll out from there. Bring, uh, do we bring Finny? I definitely want Incineroar in here for later with the Intimidate and the Fake Out. Uh, la la la. And final Pokemon. Do I want Finny or Poltsky? Finny or Pulsey? I think we're going to go uh, top of Finny here. I think Finny just rolls out a little bit better. Hmm. Yeah, let's go top of Finny. Everybody loves some top of Finny action, especially it's a new Pokemon. We already know a lot about Dragon Pole. Let's try to show off a little bit of top of Finny action. But I'm trying, like, I get so conflicted with the top moves. It's so weird. It is so weird because I love them all. But, like, every time I use one in a different team, like, dude, I like this one the best. I like this one the best. So, I really don't know who I like the best. I absolutely love them all. I cannot complain. Like I said, I haven't tried that on the Bulu team yet. But I gotta try that one out soon. I'll probably fall in love with him, too, with the grass and berry typing. But he goes Regigigas and Weezing over here. Um, I think I just easily protect. And I set up a Trick Room. And then I Brick Break and Roll from there. I think I'm fine with that. Just no abilities, which is totally fine. Which is totally fine by me, so I'm just gonna trick him here and I'm gonna hit that protect button and get after it. Let's get protecting, baby. Then we're gonna protect, set up this trick room, and then uh, brick break into me or into my glacier after I dynamax. Proc that weakness policy and roll out from there. What you want, fool? What are you gonna do? What you gonna do? What you gonna do? I still have to catch up Reggie Gekis and all that and Sword and Shield. If you guys wanna catch extra content from me where I will be catching these Pokemon, Head in to the link in the description below, Jeans25 on Twitch. We stream three plus days every single week. Go hit that follow button. Hit that little notification bell so you know when I go live. It's tons of fun. We just we just chill out there, listen to music, hang out, play some video games. It's it's very, very chill. You guys should definitely check it out. But we're going to protect. And this thing's going to drop a sub. This thing's going to drop a sub, yo. You're crazy. This thing is going to sub. Oh, you're double subbing? Oh, no. Yo, chill on me, dude. Chill on me, man. He double sub. That's actually nasty. That was actually really good play by him. Um, I don't think I Dynamax now. I really don't think I Dynamax. Do I Dynamax though? I'll drop a Nightshade. And get after this Weezing. 
I could do that. And just get right after Sweden. It's not levitated, so we do have high horsepower, which is super effective. Which I think I'm gonna go for. As much as I want to proc weakness policy. I say we just do this. I say we just do this. Dude, double substitute really threw me off. That really threw me off. Did you just double sub on me? Get out of my face. As much as I should die, you're slower than us. Are we just gonna protect? This thing's a god. This thing's a god sent from the heavens. Are you gonna protect too? Oh my lord. Did he just do that? Did this thing just do that to me? This thing just did that to me. Are you kidding me? Alright. What are you gonna do here? What are you doing, Reggie? I'm gonna go for a Darker Slayer over onto my desktop slot. That's totally fine. Desktop beat up. Uh, can I burn that through a substitute? I think maybe I can. I think it is Life Orb. Oh my lord. Really annoying Pokemon here. I'm gonna do that same thing. I'm doing that same thing. I wish power over in this slot. You might swap into maybe like Landorus or something. Which would be smart. But I hope that thing just keeps going for Darkest Slayers. And then I can uh, proc next turn. Because then I'll still have three turns left in the Trick Room. And then we'll be thriving. I think I think that's fine. I think that's fine. But jeez, man. This thing is probably going to eat up regardless. He's an absolute beast. The double substitute is just, it's just doing work. It's doing work. I don't know what to do. Next turn, I think Dynamax. Dynamax proccing with his policy and rolling out. I think that's fine. I really do wonder what this guy's gonna do. He is gonna withdraw the wheat. Yo, he's gonna go Landers. Neutralizing gas, we're in all frisk. We get to see items life orb. And black sludge over on the wheezing. Slow start is coming out here. That's why you gotta take out the wheezing. And then he's gonna go. Oh, he's gonna go Celeste Steel. That's totally fine. Into the trick room. And now I'm going to uh Dynamax proc with this policy. We're doubling up into this thing now. Getting some nice little damage over on it. It's part flying. Somehow it's part flying. I never really got that. Another Dark Slayer is gonna pop. Yep. Another Dark Slayer is popped. Dust Cop should be the slowest. Though I should be able to still proc with this policy and roll from here. That dang thing right there. That dang. He gets a crit, man. What you mean? But he is going down to some nice life orb damage. Which is not bad. Because he's not doing too, too much damage. But now we can brick break on the side. We still have three turns left in Trick Room. And I'm gonna Dynamax. And do I drop a Knuckle? Do I drop a Knuckle? No. I'd rather drop a. A nice hailstorm here. And try to get some stab damage and maybe take out Glacier. Or not Glacier. Celestia. Oh, baby, yo, dude. That threw me off. I thought we were going to be able to roll out against the team. He double sub. He double sub. And I was like, bruh, slow your roll there, kid. Like, slow your roll. That's just pretty deadly right there. But we still have Incineroar and uh, Finny in the back. And we have just been uh, doing a little trip damage around here. Haven't really uh, wasted anything too, too much. Like, Dust Cops already did his job. We have three turns left in Trick Room. And we have three Dynamax turns with uh, Glacier. And we're dropping a big old hailstorm, which is stab. Hopefully picking up that KO here. Maybe, possibly, if we do, we get Chilling Nay and get that plus one. So then our attack will be boosted. We boost it. But I'm, I don't know if I should be worried about that Regigigas. I don't know if I should be worried about that Regigigas. But we Dynamax in here. I do need to get off that sub suit as soon as I can. And get rid of that thing. Is he going to Dynamax as well? Let's see what he does. He's going to probably protect, right? I hate this game. Dude, I really do hate this game, like, a lot. I really hate this game, like, a lot, a lot. A Brick Break comes out here. We proc him with this policy. That's totally fine by me. We're gonna be able to drop this Hailstorm. If I can pick up two KOs with this, with this, uh, Glacier, we'll be thriving for victory. We'll be thriving for victory, even if he has a Dynamax. Let's get it, because we still have our Intimidate drop. We have all that good stuff. How much damage are we really gonna do this thing? A good amount of damage. That is a good amount of damage. And if Dust Cops, or if Regigigas does take out Dust Cops here, then we're just gonna pull out, uh, well, instant aura, and I might just take off that thing substitute in the next turn. He's just gonna go for a Giga Impact, which is totally fine by me. Keep this thing alive, and then my what's called my Dust Cops will be slow. Should be able to take out uh, Celestial easily with the Nightshade. What do I do here, actually? And then I just drop a Max Knuckle to get a to get a boost. Because Nightshade takes this thing out easily. And I think I just knuckled to get the attack boost. That's that's probably best bet for taking off substitute. We're taking off substitute. Like I said, two KOs. And th this will be one. This will be one. Then we have one more turn, which we can pop off and probably take out another Pokemon. Because we're going to be plus three on the board and be rolling out after that. I really like where we're sitting. It just really depends on his last Pokemon. I, we know he, have, he has Weezing, which I'm not too worried about at all. Like, Weezing doesn't really pose that big threat. We're not in Cinemore and Finny in the back. Glaciary is still chilling here. He's going to withdraw you. That's totally fine by me. He's going to send out Weezing, probably. Uh, yeah, Weezing comes out. Okay, so never mind. I want. I really want the KO there, but we're gonna go for a nightshade. 
I should have went for a nightshade over there then. Probably should have played that a little bit better. I probably should I probably should have threw the knuckle on the left side, but we're gonna take out substitute here. I'm gonna drop that thing as a substitute. Great, and now I can just drop something on the left side. I think we're I think we're thriving here. Because here comes the life orb damage. We have one more turn in the trick room, which I'm, I'm gonna come out with in Cinemore probably after this. As there's no there's no terrain out here. No second terrain, so we can just pop off a little bit of a little bit of a what's it called? Fake out. Alright, so oh actually trick room ended there. That's nutty. Okay, so trick room ended there. Oh man. E Then we go there and then we pop another knuckle over onto here. But I think, personally, I think uh, Weezing is going to protect. You guys just protecting out. I'm actually playing really, really well. But yeah, get after it. Get after it, baby. Even if that uh, Regigigas is protect, I still think we take it out. He might sub up, which would be smart. He's probably going to sub up. Dude, I hate this game so much. This is a long battle. <laughs> this is a long, drawn-out battle right here. Make a move. Nobody died yet. Nobody died yet. Dark Slayer comes out. Okay, that's fair. We're going to be able to take out Regigigas. Get that thing out of the way. That cop's going to go down. I'm fine with that. I'm fine with that. We're now sitting at plus four. We're now sitting at plus four. I'm going to definitely get out in Cinnamore. I thought maybe Weezing was going to protect, so I was just like, okay, we'll slow down there. Glacier eats up just dandy, just fine. We're going to be able to drop this thing with a knuckle. Beautiful, get out of my face. All right, finally, we go one for one. <laughs> we go one for one after all that time. This is a long battle. Long little battle. Hopefully, we can come out with a win. We have plus four. Plus four right here. No chilling night ability, which stinks. We would be plus five. Buffets are dropping. And I think I just bring out Incineroar for that. So I can pose a fake out. Let's go, Incineroar. And whoever he throws out, if he throws out. I don't think he's going to throw out Celestial. I think he's going to bring out his uh, fourth and final mon. We haven't showed our Finny yet, so that's good. That's good. Who is your final poking means? Who is it? Show it to me. He is going to keep Celestial up in here. He is going to keep Celestial up in here. Um, they both have the protect option. Who do I fake out? I say, I say I, we fake out Celestial. We do not get that Intimidate. I just, uh, just saw that. Or, or, or I could go for Burning Jealousy. Hmm. These are attacks with energy. This leaves all opponents that have their stats boosted during the turn with a burn. Okay, so nobody has their stats boosted except for my Pokemon. Um... Just fake out. Just really fake out you. And we get does this thing have levitate? No, doesn't it have a surge? No, it has neutralizing gas, so it's, it's not levitated. We can just drop this thing. Tell it to go home. I think I think we're fine. I think we're fine. I don't think he's gonna dynamax. Unless his back end Pokemon is really, really that bad, then he might actually dynamax and try to take me out. But I, I just don't see a dynamax coming out from his Celeste Steeler right now. He does not. He's going to protect the Celestial. That's totally fine. Just don't protect the Weezing, please. Please don't protect the Weezing. He does not protect the Weezing. Okay. That, that's totally fine by me. We were trying to fake it out and just slow it down for a turn here. Dazzling Gleam comes out here. It's an order to say that's a tasty snack. Thank you very much. And then High Horsepower. Should be able to pick up this KO perfectly. Get out of my face. Neutralizing Gas should wear off and we should go plus five on the board. So what's called is posing a huge threat here. Intimidate does come out. Do we get a Chilling Knight here? Do get a chilling day. Let's get it. Let's get it. Attack Rose. Let's get it. And Buffets are going to uh, fly out. So we are faster than that Celestial. That thing is slow. So I can go into a Flare Blitz or just a Burning Jealousy. Finish that off. And just be chilling. He is going to Dynamax this next Pokemon, which is Landers. Tapu Finny. Okay. I'm, I'm fine with that. If we go Finny for Finny. Tapu Finny. He has that Misty Surge. I'm totally cool with. Uh, I think we just go for a Burning Jealousy here. Because that will take out you. And then we just try to drop like an Icicle Crash. Actually, no. Do I protect this turn? Hmm. He is Dynamax. Like, we know that. We're going to drop a close combat. No, we're not. We're going to go for a high horse power. <laughs> it's not very effective. The Burning Jealousy takes out Celestial. No problem. I'm fine with that. Um, Maybe we should have protected Glacier. Maybe we should have protected Glacier. Hmm. Hmm. Hmm, hmm, hmm. A tough one. This, one, this one's tough one. Maybe we should just start, start throwing parting shots. But here comes the Dynamax. This one is actually going to be super, 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 super close. With the Finny Dynamax now. Oh my god, yo. What a first battle. What a first battle. 
I'm not worried about Celestia. Things done. Get out of my face. Unless you decide to take out my what's called. He's gonna go for a guy. Unless you decide to take out my Incineroar. <gasps> you do. I'm fine with that. If Glacier gets a high horsepower off, I'm totally fine with that. Glacier, do work, buddy. You outspeed my Glacier? I didn't think you outspeed my Glacier. I know Glacier is slow, but no! I thought, bruh. No! Okay, that's GG then. That is GG then. I thought Glacier was a little bit faster than Celestia. I knew I knew they were both really, really slow. I knew, I already knew that, but I thought Glacier would be able to outspeed. Get off high horsepower, because that high horsepower probably would have picked up the KO. We're sitting plus five here. That would have been big old damage. That would have been big old damage. But Finny comes out here. Misty Surge is coming back. He's just going to steal roll again. And that is going to be the game. That is going to be the game. Yo, long first battle, but a really good one. A really good one nonetheless. But we're just going to run this one and uh, hop into our second battle. Yo, GG this guy. I really like this next person's team. I really, really do like it considering he has Shuckle on it. And Shuckle is one of the coolest Pokemon in my opinion. Just look at that thing. It's a little like slug blob i don't even know in a little shell it is hilarious i love it so much he also has ferrothorn reggie draco okay tailwind with that one scott so gotta watch out for that might be choice spec up in here uh might want to lead tapu finny in that case might want to lead tapu finny in that case um and incineroar that could be not bad he has whimscott urshfu and gigalith over there um i kind of just want to go finny and incineroar just to kind of cancel out that reggie draco situation and then bring Polsky as our Dynamax Mon and maybe Ndidi in the back. Kinda liking that. I am kinda liking that. Yeah, yeah, let's get rolling. Cause I can fake out and just drop like a like a Dazzling Gleam or something. Or force a swap out, either or. Be pretty, pretty well. But we do get an attack drop that is gonna be huge right off the rip. He has no competitive, he has none of that going on. So we should be chilling with the Intimidate. Maybe swap him out turn one. Get a fake out and parting shot. That could be the play. That could be the play. But who are you going to lead? He is going to lead Urshifu and Ferrothorn. Okay. Urshifu and Ferrothorn. I'm totally chilling with that one. Um, I'm just going to fake out the Urshifu. Or who do I fake out here? I do get the Surge. The Misty Surge. The wonderful Surge that is full of mist. Do I even fake out? I think I just Flare Blitz and drop this thing. But big Intimidate coming out here. Both on physical attackers. That's a huge Intimidate. Do I even fake out? That's the real question. I think I just dropped the Ferrothorn. And go into a Dazzling Gleam. We might see a detect come out. I might just calm mine. I just want to calm mine here. I want to calm mine. And I'm just gonna try to drop this. I think he thinks I'm gonna go for a fake out, so he's gonna stay in. And he's gonna oh he's gonna withdraw Urshifu. Oh I'm in on that. I'm in on that. So calm mine working beautiful. Calm mine is working so well here. Sandstream is popping. I'm totally fine with that. I'm totally fine. We're gonna be able to get off calm mine. I can muddy water next turn if I really want to. Tom Mine popping into a Flare Blitz that should be able to pick up the KO here easily. But throwing this dude off, Tom Mining up. We got our special attack boosted and our special defense. We might actually Dynamax Vinny now. Flare Blitz coming out here. No fake out. No fake out needed, buddy. Get out of my face, Ferrothorn. Get him out of here, yo. What a start. What a start by Gene. Iron Barber's popping. We're going to take some recoil damage, but yo, I'm thriving with that. I might just parting shot now and, uh, and switch up weather. Dynamax, switch up weather. I'm liking, I'm liking where we're at right now. We got that special defense boost. We are faster than these Pokemon right now. We're fine. I'm going to party shot and save my Intimidate. Really depends who comes out on the next side. Let's see. Is it going to be Urshifu back out here? It is going to be Urshifu back out here once again. Um, I'm just going to Dynamax and go for the Geyser. And I'm going to parting shot over on you. I'm going to say see you later. I'm going to drop back and save my Intimidate and fake out for another turn. I know we're not going to outspeed the Urshifu. Well, it's going to go Urshifu, then uh, Finny, then Incineroar. Which is totally fine. And then what's called will be last spot. The, what is this thing called? Gigalith. Gigalith. Beautiful little Pokemon. But yo, Finny setting up turn one. Dude, that was a strong first turn. That was a really strong first turn with the Calm Mind. Get that special attack boost. Special defense boost as well. And then take out a Pokemon and force a swap. And take no damage. Well, besides our recoil and Iron Barbs. And Buffett's like, dude, strong, strong, strong first turn. And first turn can really set you up for the rest of the game. But hopefully we can pick up this win after this one. After that wonderful little turn. But your boy coming after it. Don't show me this thing's protecting. He's going to Dynamax Gigalith as well. Trigger the weakness policy. Kind of 
That's all right. That's all right. What type of... I know this thing's rock and something else, isn't it? Or is it... No, it's strictly rock. It's strictly rock. But parting shot is going to come out. And I think he's just going to drop a rock on mine soon. I really do think that's going to happen. And Urshfu might just protect. Or detect, whichever one. Let's see. Let's see what happens here. Nope. Urshfu's just going to U-turn out. It's totally fine. What are you swapping into? As long as my Incineroar can parting shot and stay alive, I'll swap back into him next turn. Just for an Intimidate job. Just for a wonderful in Intimidate job. But if this thing's weakness policy... Oh, Shuckle's coming out here. Shuckle! My boy Shuckle! Guy's coming out here. If this thing eats it up, it's gotta be weakness policy in my opinion. That's really what I'm saying. Let's see. Yeah, he eats like a tank, dude. He's such a tank. But we do get the weather change, which is beneficial to us. I think he might just drop another rock for stab damage. And keep the weather in his favor. Let's see what he does. No weakness policy, which I really, really like. Parting shot's gonna drop here. We're gonna drop the shuckle down. <laughs> we wanna say shuckle, get out of my face. Drop shuckle, and I think he's dropping a rock, so. Mm. Go Indeedy. Pop these psychic seeds as well. Because then I can just follow, follow me out. I can take out Giglith in the next shot. Just follow me. Like a surge popping. All I need is, uh, I think Finny should be able to eat up a shot from me. He's not policy, which is wonderful. Here's my psychic seeds. Oh, hopefully he's dropping rock on the NDD slot. But I think he's just gonna, oh no, he's gonna go for a quake. That's fine. It's totally fine. We go for a quake over on Finny. Finny eats that up all day. All dang day, yo. This is pretty much GG. Um, I am gonna go for a follow me, and I am gonna take out the shuckle. I am going to take out shuckle here. I'm not dealing with this shuckle right now. Reason I am going after this uh this shuckle is because of uh I think this thing might max guard. Let's see, does it guard? It's not gonna guard, which is totally fine. Unless follow me comes out before we go. But I don't think it does. Let's see what happens here. No, it does not guard. Uh, it's totally fine. We're gonna guys are out. Do some damage onto shuckle with the rain still triggered. And we can say I was gonna say we could say see a shuckle, but shuckle is sturdy. Shuckle is sturdy. Rockfall coming out here. Over onto Indeed, dubitably. Indeed, he says, yo, let's take the snack you got there. Thank you, Seeds. Um, we're going to outspeed both. I'm going to drop another geyser into uh, Gigalith here. And Shuckle is power spinning. Yo, you crazy, Shuckle. You crazy, Shuckle. He shared his power with the target, yo. Thank you, Shuckle. You rock. Uh, do I follow me again? Well, they're both slower than me. I'm going to take out the Shuckle. With my Ndidi shot, and I'm going to take out, uh, or not take out, I'm going to do some damage over onto, uh, Diglett and change the weather up for my last turn. All we have is Expanding Force, but I'm still going to roll it. I'm still going to run it, because I really want the Shuckle out the way, and I know we outspeed both these guys. Shuckle is going to send a Protect. You smart little biscuit. I'm not going for follow me, man. I'm not doing it. I'm not dealing with you. Geyser, give me my weather back. Give me my weather back. Only downside to go on Lance is he can take weather back now. He can take weather back, yeah. Sandstorm, I think Sandstorm gives you a special defense boost. I think so, if you're a rock type dude. I believe that's it, that's a thing. So, Expanded Force comes out. <sighs> no damage. No damage. But it still hits that because we are in the terrain. And then he's just gonna go for a rock ball. Change up the weather again and go after Finny, please. Keep him, yes, thank you, thank you. Thank you for going after Finny. Is after Finny? I can just muddy water, easy double KO. Yo, this match is a wrap, yo. Top of Finny coming up big. Coming up big here. I'm loving it. I'm loving that. Yo, I told you, yo, first turn could just set you up for the rest of the game. We were sitting there. Perfect play. Didn't go for the fake out. He thought we were going for it. We just dumped on the Ferrothorn and said, see you later. Forced to swap out from the Earth's food and set up a calm mind. It was just it was just game over after that. It was just GG. Special defense boost and special attacking. Like, mwah. Beautiful play by your, your boy Jeans. Muddy Water's going to come out here, pick up the KO, and I'm just going to heal Pulse. I'm just going to heal Pulse by top of Finney. Tapu Finny is so good. People were saying uh, they think uh, Tapu Finny is the best Tapu, which I wouldn't be surprised. They're all really, really good. But okay, you can swap. That's totally fine. And Shuckle's gonna try to protect again, but you stink at this game. And you didn't do it. Who who just dodged that? Who just dodged that? Please don't tell me it was the Shuckle. Take out the Shuckle. Thank you. I was gonna say the Shuckle dodged the muddy water. <laughs> I was gonna say, dang, Shuckle lives another day. Well, here comes my hill poles. Give me some more HP, baby. Give me some more HP. Give me some more HP. Thank you very much. I'm just muddy water again. Follow me this turn. <laughs> just roll. 
Because like I said, we, we still have Polsky in the back. And I was going to Dynamax Polt. Like, that was my main thing. But once I set up that combine, I was like, yo, wrap it up. Let's finish this game up. Pick up this win. And we're going to go one on one. Like, I, I'm, I'm fairly confident we got this game in the bag. We just follow me this turn. Muddy Water will take out. Uh, where do I Gleam? Good Gleam. We think Gleam is going to take out. I say play it safe. Just go with the Muddy Water. Just follow me this turn. Like, we're thriving. We still have Polsky in the back. We still we haven't lost a Pokemon. We still have Incineroar in the back, too. I totally forgot about that. We haven't lost a Pokemon yet. We're looking for a clean sweep. We're playing so good today. Like, that first battle, we still played really, really well. He just, he just played a little bit better. He just played a little bit better. But Wicked Blow comes out here. We're going to lose indeed here. But that's all I need. That is all I need. It's a crit, obviously, because it's guaranteed crit. Sometimes I don't remember that it's a guaranteed crit. Honey Water comes out here. Say bye-bye to Gigalith. And we're going to do a little bit of damage over onto Urshifu. A little bit. A lot of bit. That was a big old damage. And we get the drop. And we get the extra drop. We eating out here. Always. Always thriving. Always thriving out here. This thing's going to take buffets. And I'm gonna, I'm just going to bring out Incineroar. Fake out. Just come out here. Clap it up. Hey, GG. Hey. Tapu Finny, baby. Tapu. Tapu Finny is OP. Yeah. Yeah. Don't even need Dragon Ball. Like you would think you need Life Orb Dragon Ball. Nah, yo, just calm mind with Finny. Run your matches. Too good. It's too good. Intimidate. Drop. Get out of my face. Get out of my face, dude. Get him out of here. We're going to a Gleam. Actually, uh, and then Fake Out will just finish off this battle. Fake Out's going to just pick up the easy KO. Wow, Incineroar gets a nice okay. This guy better just leave. Keep his Urshifu alive. Yeah, that's what I thought. One and one, we're going to hop into our third and final battle and look for that winning record. Final battle, and oh no, this guy has Tapu Fini as well. That's a scary Pokemon. We already know a lot about that one. He also has Rotom Heat, Landorus with that Intimidate, Alolan Ninetales, Metagross. Oof. Oof. Metagross, yo, that thing is an absolute beast. I think it's the best Pokemon in Series 7 right now, in my opinion. In my opinion. I'm not going to guarantee that. And then he has Dragapult in the final spot. Um, Who should I really roll out here? I kind of want to roll out the Glacier. Dust Clock combo. I kind of want to do that. He has Intimidate. Um, which I would be fine with here if I proc Weakness Fossil to go plus one. And then I can just start dumping on Pokemon and get my chillin' nay and rolling out from there. But then if he leads Rotom Heat, that's also a scary little Pokemon. Hmm. What does Jeans want to do? I kinda wanna go I kinda wanna go for this. I don't wanna do this. I think he's gonna go nine tails. He might go. He might lead heat. He might lead heat. He possibly probably going to lead heat. I don't care. We're going to get after it. We're going to go Incineroar. Um, actually, I don't think I really want Incineroar with two clear body Pokemon. We're going to go Polsky and Finny. Yeah, I don't think we really need Incineroar if, uh, with two clear bodies. I just don't think that, that's a that's a thing. I just don't think that it's really worth it to bring that Intimidate Pokemon in with two clear bodies. Okay, let's roll. Let's roll. Please show me no heat. Please show me no heat. But we already know the Miami heat's going to come out this turn. <laughs> Let's go. Jimmy Butler coming out here. No, Metagross and Tapu Fine. Finene. Tapu Finene Nizzle. Uh, easy protect into. He might calm on, which is. Uh, that's scary as well. But we are physical attacking. We got Spanish names. It might be Spanish. I might be wrong. Coco Pisco. Coco Pisco. That's how you pronounce it. Frisk coming out. I didn't even see what I'm saying. I have to start paying attention more so to Frisk. <laughs> I do have Willow. Oh. Ooh, we're going to trick room here. And we're going to protect here. And then I'm going to brick break, drop somebody, and I'm going to start throwing out burns. That's my plan. That's my that's my plan right now. Come on, Jeans. You got this. Metagross. Nasty. Nasty. Real good. I uh, got to watch out for those steel shots, too. And once I get off this trick room, I think I just... Do I burn first? Do I burn first or do something else? Okay, which draws Metagross? Never mind. That's just, that's just, that just saves me. Motomosa comes out with the heat skis. Bring it out the heat. Bring them out, bring them out. Protect pop in here. I probably could have went for an attack shot. You can go for a calm mind. Smart biscuit. Smart biscuit. Tapu Finny coming out with the calm mind. We just face off with that. That is deadly. That is real deadly. Um now the real question is. Do I, wait, do I have Alice Switch? I don't think I do. We have Nightshade, Will-O-Wisp. Which is moves? Do not. Ooh, okay, so we're gonna brick break here. Probably gonna try dropping overheat. Uh, who do I get rid of? Who do I get rid of? 
We go after Finny? Like, oh, Lord. No, we're gonna go after Finny here. I'm gonna go after Finny. And. No way your ally switching. I'm gonna go after Finny here. I get the special defense boost. I think the special defense boost could come up clutch for us and possibly uh, take out that threat of a uh, top of Finny right now. I think I think that's the play. The special defense won't affect us for right now because I have Glacier. Who do I have Glacier? It will affect when my top of Finny comes out, not my uh, Dragon Bolt for physical attack in there. Ah! Hey! You protect it. Dang, dude, that would have been money play. That would have been money. That would have been money, nay. If we went after this Rotom, we would have been thriving. We would have been thriving. Give me my special defense boost. Give me my special. We probably should have just, like, nightshaded or something. Because he's going to proc my own weakness policy with an overheat or something. But I really want the special defense boost. Are we plotting, plotting? He plot and plot. Then he's gotta go. Actually, what other Pokemon do you have? You might swap into Landers. Wouldn't be surprised. This is in case he swaps into Landers or something like that. Hmm. Do we really think he's holding that Landers? I think he might. I think he might be holding Landers. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Who are you going into? Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Jeans rolling out. Jeans rolling out. He ain't playing around. Jeans not playing around here. He ain't playing around. Let's get it. Burn on that thing. We're going to get a plus one with this max knuckle. At least do some damage. So we're going to go back up to plus two. But, yo, he's probably going to double me with a with a flare. I'm not even going to lie. I'm not even going to lie. But we will still get off a shot. But that burn on this Landers is going to be nice. Last minute call by Jeans. We know his whole team. We know what's going on. Willow is popping. Get out of my face, Landers. Get out of here. Take that burn. Take that burn. All yours. All yours, buddy. Here's my knuckle. Here's my knuckle. My knuckle, but knuckle. Doing a little bit of damage. But yeah, he's, he's, he's playing me really well right now. Someone's, this one's going to be really, really close. He is going to take out my Glacier here. In my opinion, I think he's going to flare and dump on me. Yeah. Plus two. Eat, eat it up, buddy. You are. You are. Oh, you can eat. You can eat. That's a tasty snack, man. That is a tasty snack. Rickroom is still thriving. I think he might guard here. Do we think he's gonna guard? I mean, I don't do a lot of damage to it, so. I'd rather just nightshade over on you. And I'd rather get weather in our favor. Do we think he's gonna swap? I ah, still, I'm still gonna drop this. Get a little bit of stab damage rolling out here. I don't, I don't really think he's going to swap. Yeah, he, he actually might go swap back into the Finny. He's not going through. Okay, that's fine. We're going to be able to take out Landers. Do some damage with the Nightshade. Else from coming out here. He popping. Maybe he thought I was Garden, which would be huge. Here's my Chona. If he thinks I'm Garden, that is a huge, huge play. That is a huge, huge play. If he goes after my Dusk Ops, because then we get off another shot here. And we take away your weather. We say, yo, get your weather. I'm okay. But I think I'm Garden. Think that I'm Garden. Go after my Clops. Clops. Gonna go for a flare again. Go over on my clock side. Yes. Go over on my clock side. He said, yo, that is a tasty snack. He's probably gonna go back out in the Finny. And hopefully he goes back out in the Metagross. I'm praying he goes back out in the Metagross. Because if he goes back out in the Metagross, then I could try to throw a burn on that thing. Show me his Metagross. Show me. Yes, 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 yes. Yes, yes, sir. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. <laughs> I'm gonna drop a close combat. And then I'm going to uh Try to get a burn up on the Close combat. And that's, uh, I, this thing poses a bigger threat than Metagross. Because if I can get off a burn on Metagross, we're thriving. What are we going to see? He's just going to go for a bull punch. We, eat. we might not be able to eat that. Ooh, 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 rough news. Rough news there. 
Little punch takes us out. Smart play. But if we get off this burn, we're going to be thriving. Get off this burn. Land it. Oh my god, the mist. The mist. Did us dirty. Wasn't it mist up late? Oh, because he's flying type. Dang it, man. Dang it, man! What do you mean? Alright, I think Trick Room, Trick Room should end here. Yeah, okay. that actually works perfectly. Bring out my Polski. Bring out my Tapu Fin Fin. That thing has... No, that, that was his last turn. He puts out that electric terrain. That's fine. Finny up in the air. Says, yo, my terrain now. All oh my, this is my world. But it kind of stinks because I can't really go into my Dragon Boot. Which I'm fine with. I have my, my Dark Boot. Or my Ghost Boot. I think I protect Finny and go into a Phantom Force. That's probably the play. That's probably play right now. Going to Phantom Force to be able to take out that Rotom. Even though Metagross is such a big threat. I'm still gonna do that. Over right here. I want you out of the way. I'm gonna protect. I'm just gonna protect you. I'm gonna protect this turn. Place one a little slower. See what this guy has to offer. What are you gonna do? Landers is gone. He's gonna protect this turn. That's that's totally fine. I, I like to see that. I like to see that. I'm protected as well. Metagross, what are you doing? You're not getting off shot, Metagross. It's going to be a plus turn for me because I'm dropped ready to go into a Phantom Force. That hits through protects regardless. He's going to go for Ice Punch. We're going to dodge that. We're going to dodge that. And now I'm going to drop a Missile Money. And this is scary. I think Metagross takes out my Dragon Ball. But he's going to have to clutch up. Take this thing out. Take this thing out, please. Get it out of my face. Beautiful. Okay. I need this thing to miss his Ice Punch. That is scary. Get an Accuracy drop, maybe? Because Finny should be able to outspeed. Let's see. Does Finny outspeed? Finny does outspeed. And Finny misses! What are you doing? What you mean? Pole eat, yo. Pole is out here. He came to play today. Metagross got to go. He's going to throw out his Finny as well. So it comes down to the battle of the Fin Fins. Um, he knows I'm Phantom Forcing. Which I have to. I have to drop down there. And do I call mine? I think I protect. There's no way I think Calm Mind. I'm going to protect. I'm going to protect my Finny. Like we need Finny. Yeah. Okay. Protect the Fins. Full punch come out. Miss. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Dude, Metagross too good, baby. Metagross is too good. What a Pokemon combine here. That's gonna be the game. No! No! We're going we're gonna go one and two here, but yo, I gotta be honest, those are probably the best set of three battles I had. All of them were super, super close and could have went either way. Like those were some really good battles. I'm really glad I did get them on recording. We're gonna leave our top of Finny to be alive here. Be all beautiful, be all chillin'. That's totally fine. That is the game. That is 100% the game. Top of Finny cannot come back from this one. But yo, GG to this guy. We go one and two and have some good battles for today's video. Amazing team right here. This has been a team I've been using to push rank ladder. I've been winning some master ball battles and just having a bunch of fun with it. It is very strong and awesome to use considering you got the glacier combo and the dust clops with it. It is so, so strong once you get that set up. You also have that Tapu Finny who I showed off in today's video. Can be an absolute beast. Same thing with that Dragon Ball. You guys already know about that. Then you got the Incineroar and Indeedee just for support mods to help you win the battles. But guys, that is going to be it for today's video. If you did enjoy the content, don't forget to smash that like button for me. And if you're new here, click that big red subscribe button so you know when my videos go live. Thank you guys so much for watching. I'll see you on the next one. Peace out, everyone.